Okay, I'd like to talk a little bit about um, uh, the metabolic approach to working with cancer. Uh, this is a, a very relevant and an important concept to understand because the conventional modus operandi, the, the conventional way of working with cancer is uh, a military approach. And so basically what happens is that the doctor becomes the general, the tumor is the enemy, the nurses and technicians are the soldiers, and there's a battle fall. And unfortunately that battle is the human body, the battleground. And so the collateral damage is, is, is what we see, uh, which is absolutely tragic, and most people die from the treatment. treatment. So the metabolic approach is different in that we use substances from nature, not synthetic, but from nature, that are, uh, that challenge the cancer cells based on their metabolic limitations and capabilities. Okay, so this is a really pretty important concept. For example, when a cell becomes cancerous, what happens is that it loses the ability to use oxygen. So that's the fundamental thing that happens in the mitochondria. And so when that happens, then there's no longer any oxygen coming in. Then you're not having what's called oxidative byproducts. So the cell downregulates, stops producing antioxidant enzymes. So if you put the cell in a, in a, in a situation, in a position where it needs those antioxidant enzymes and it doesn't have them, it will die. And that's great because healthy cells have those enzymes. So you just simply, so for example, high dose vitamin C. We know it's well documented, the, the National Institute of Health, uh, National Cancer Institute, and the FDA um, have um, published studies showing that what happens in, one of the things that happens with vitamin C is the production of peroxides in tissues. And so cancer cells have, do not have catalase and superoxide dismutase, so they cannot convert those peroxides into water and oxygen the way healthy cells do. So they die. They're, they're basically targeted with a, in a metabolic way rather than a military way. And there are lots of different metabolic therapies that are based on botanicals. And this is basically how, when we say, like, and I want to remember that the, when we talk about traditional care, we've got to remember traditional care is chief rolling thunder. It's the Ayurvedic physicians. It's, it's traditional Chinese physicians. It's the, uh, the American and European uh, botanical physicians. These are... Uh, this is traditional medicine. We often mistakenly say that about traditional chemotherapy. Anything that's done today with white coats in hospitals is not traditional, it's conventional. Okay. Traditionally, humans were more aligned with nature and we used natural substances. So that, that just needs to be understood. So uh, when we use natural substances that the body can handle and the cancer cells can't, we're metabolically challenging or metabolically dealing with cancer. These are the interventions we like to use in what's called integrative oncology, what's called alternative cancer care, etc., like that. It's using this approach. Now, there are other aspects to it, which I'll discuss at another time.